Hey guys, it's another lovely Monday here at my house. La, la, la. I was gonna answer questions, but then fucking internet was like, no, but I'm not gonna work. Well, what do you think I am, a working internet? Cause you're wrong, cause I'm not on internet. Why isn't this working? Internet. Internet. Okay, well, so much for that. Well, since my internet decided not to work, I'll just talk about myself. Big news, I turned 18 Saturday. So yeah, I can, I can buy porn now, um, cigarettes, get a tattoo. Uh, I can sign legal documents. Um, oh, what else can I do? Oh, I can go to war if I want. Can't drink though, I can go to war, but I can't drink. Smart. Yeah, uh, on my birthday, I just sang happy birthday to myself. Alone. <clears throat> happy birthday to me. <laughs> Since I'm freaking an adult now and I'm a pretty experienced human being, um, I think it's time for my advice segment of the day. Let's talk about skin, particularly acne. Cause let me tell you, that is the most frustrating part of a teenager's life. I hate acne. I still struggle with it and it sucks. Let me just tell you some of the little tips, little tips and tidbits that I've gathered over my long and experienced life. Um, some of them haven't worked at all for me. Some of them have worked. So I'll just share them all. The first main one, the main, main, main tip uh, is to drink a lot of water because water is like, you know, it's like the essence of life, man. Okay, seriously, eight cups of water a day. Drink even more than that if you want to because it really, really helps your skin. One summer, I probably drank like 12 cups of water a day and my skin was flawless. Another thing, exercising, when you sweat, you just sweat out all the toxins and it's like a freaking, a freaking purging of uh, toxins. Uh, drinking a lot of like green tea helps a lot of people. Uh, I haven't really noticed that big of a difference, but one thing I did one time that just was the worst idea ever was to drink apple cider vinegar. Um, I read somewhere that if you drink two tablespoons after a meal of apple cider vinegar, that your skin would be flawless. It was probably the stupidest thing. I can't believe I went on for so long because every single day I would have this acidic snot in my throat and I would always cough. I'd feel nauseous all the time and my skin actually probably got worse. I, I just made myself sick, so. But it might work for you, who knows? Some people have oatmeal scrubs that they, and it's like a natural, it's like a really gentle exfoliant um, and it's nice. So it takes off the dead outer layer and like makes it really shiny and bright, which is nice. Also, lemon sugar facials they're really nice they like they like they do the job but they're really drying so you have to like not do them a lot birth control a lot of people say that birth control really helps them with acne like because it like calms down the hormones for me personally birth control did not really help that much uh like it helped a little but at the end of the day I still have zits so but you could totally use that excuse on your mom if you want to get jiggy but you don't want to tell your mom you want to get jiggy just be like mom I'm having trouble with my acne um do you think I could try birth control I'm sure that would just go over great 
definitely eating a really healthy diet, a lot of fruit and vegetables. There's also this thing you can do called um, a clay mask, which is really nice. I used to do it a lot, it really helped. I did it one time every single night and my skin was perfect, but uh, it also can be really drying. Um, also, there was something else and I forgot it. Yeah, so those are a few of my little tips. Have a great week, you guys. Really. You deserve it. You deserve a great week. I'm not being sarcastic. I know I look like I'm being sarcastic, but I'm just saying have a great week in an annoying ass voice. <laughs>